Hey guys, Tanner69046 here, and I'm back with a new series on my channel. This series is going to be The Forest, as you can see. Um, this game is in public alpha, as seen, and it's a challenging game, so I'm going to be doing a series on it on my channel, and it's going to be a tutorial let's play that's basically going to allow you all to see how to survive and thrive in this game if put by Paul Source Jr. I'll also be doing a multiplayer season series of this game with Don Aber 1 that will be coming soon. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So just go into single player, create a new game. There's going to be a intro here. I'm going to be quiet through the intro and allow you all to sit back, watch and take note on it. There will be a few things you'll see me grab in the intro and you'll want to do that yourself in the game. But other than that, I'm not going to talk. You'll just need to note what I grab in the intro. All right. Let's step right into the game. Alrighty guys, so this game starts out with a plane crash scene. Um, your son, probably, is in the crash. He gets taken away by a cannibal. This is a survival horror game if you haven't figured it out yet. And essentially, um, you, um, uh, you gotta eventually try to find your son and survive on this island. It's kind of open world exploration, building, and all that. So, you're gonna pop up, your son's gonna get taken, you can't do anything about that. Um, you're going to want to just grab all the supplies on this um, plane. You're gonna want to eat everything. You're going to want to, let's see, yep, eat everything, get to full hunger and all. Not full hunger, but you wanna be full. <laughs> grab the axe that's located in this woman's body, and once you've got everything, we'll do a quick double check, you don't have to grab it everything but it's important that you grab the majority of it you can go ahead and step on down from the plane take a look around you should be safe in the opening scene and once you've done that you want to walk up to these suitcases left click you will smash them open and there'll be two goodies inside for you so we're going to go around and we're going to do this to all of them there we go Go. You shouldn't encounter any cannibals right now, but you eventually will, so this process should be done rather quickly. You can also grab any sticks and rocks you see on the ground, but eventually you're going to reach carrying capacity on that. Oh, come on. Break. You understand this game is in alpha, so you're going to encounter some bugs with the game, but it's, it's a pretty good game. All things considering. I uh, hope people on my channel like it. And like I said, I hope I just make it easier for a lot of you to survive in this game. Okay, so there's a few right here. It's usually hard to get them. There we go. You don't have to get every suitcase either, but you want most of them. They have important supplies like booze which we'll go get into that later it's got drinks and it's got snacks because i mean that's your main supply right now we don't have farms or 
healthy drinking water yet. So you're running off of what you can find. If you pick up a tennis ball, you just, you just throw it. Same thing for tiny rocks. If you pick up one of them, you just throw it out of your inventory. This game freaks me out sometimes, man. <laughs> Thought I saw something, and then I didn't. Okay, so we're going to grab these last few suitcases, and then we're going to look where we are in the world, and we're going to find a place to live. Now, because the plane spawns in different places each world, you all are going to have to choose for yourself a place to live. And I'm going to show you a few things to take into consideration whenever you're choosing a world. So let's just climb up top here. Oh, I wouldn't eat any mushrooms or berries, by the way. Looks like we're at Geese Lake. Is that what I'm seeing here? I think, yeah. So we're at Geese Lake. There's a cave entrance down there, too, but there's nothing worth going in there for. Alright, so we're going to pop out over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, more suitcases. You can grab any that you see, but don't risk your life for a suitcase. Oh, my God. See, I should have just given up on that one and moved on. Okay, so let's just run over this hill. By the way, you do have thirst. You have hunger, you have stamina, and all of that good stuff. So that way is... Ooh, I know where we are. Definitely know where we are now. Okay, so this is a cannibal village. Um, let's check out what they got. A bunch of corpses. Nothing in the middle. Oh, a flare. Some money. And a few tents. And a cave that we are not going to go into. Do not try to go into a cave if this is your first time playing that game. Playing this game, because you will die. Okay, so we have found the sinkhole. Let's just run around it. So the sinkhole in this game is a giant sinkhole. <laughs> um, there's a bunch of cave entrances littered about it. There's a lot of story stuff in there. There's a lot of goodies in there. But guess what? We are not prepared to go near the sinkhole. Oh look, we did a loop. There's the plane. So right now, like I said, all we're doing is searching for a place to settle down. This game, luckily, takes it easy on you. The first day, there are not very many cannibals and there are little to none at all. It makes it very helpful for finding a base. <laughs> if you were to wait till day 10 to find a base, you would not last in this game. So yeah, you've got time, but you probably need to be hurrying up and finding a base spot. I've been taking a little while too. We're going to go on the other side of the sinkhole because there's usually some good base locations over here. should be the plane, the other part of the plane up here. Over here on this side, where are you at, plane? So right here in this area, there are a lot of cannibals that run through here. This is not a good spot to live, I'll tell you that. I would not live here. <laughs> so... If you were if you were watching this video and you just happened to be ready to put down a base right in this spot, I would change it. <laughs> so uh, let's just, let's pop over here. There should be a beach line. Ooh, there's the. Okay, yeah, now I know where I am. Okay, so I'm thirsty now, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click I to get in my inventory. And I'm going to drink a soda to restore that. You also restore energy, so if you're running from some cannibals on the verge of death, you um, uh, you can drink soda to try and help you out. So we're going to pop into this plane real quick because there's some stuff here. There's some, uh, there's some crew members, two of them. And then there's a magazine. T 
TV star's wife dies. So sad. There's a flare gun right there. Some circuit boards. You can grab them. And that is it. Okay, so now we are going to head down river to another cannibal camp. We're going to go on past this cannibal camp. And what I'm going to be teaching you in this episode is, of course, just where you want to pick a base. So we'll start going over the basics of that right now. When picking a base, you want to be able to defend all four sides, of course. Cannibals do not go into the water. If the water is deep or your character is doing a swimming animation, the cannibals will not go into the water. So, essentially, when picking a base, as you can imagine, you want a base next to water, probably. And, of course, these cannibals aren't Ol Olympic medalist cliff climbers. So, if you're above a cliff, you don't have to protect that side either. Um, I don't think this cannibal camp has anything yet, no. Okay. Um, so, as you can see, we have water, we have a cliff. There's probably a good spot to live up here. <laughs> um, the cannibals running through here, there's not usually a lot. So, this should be a good spot. Uh, they can run down cliffs. They can do that. <laughs> so don't think you're in the clear for that. Okay, so. Right up there doesn't look too bad. This spot doesn't look too bad either. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Um, because it's a good spot in my opinion, and that's why I'm trying to teach you all, is a good spot to pick a base. I'm going to pick this one up here. I've already built the base up here, but we can make it original. So... We'll just walk up here, and I'll explain to you why this is a good base. There is water right up there. See? Right here. We do not have to build a wall across the river, because they won't cross there. Right here. They will not cross here, so we do not have to build a wall here. We only have to build two walls. That's a lot less than, say, oh, I don't know, four. <laughs> That's half the amount that we have to build. So, I think this is a pretty good spot. Ooh, an animal. Kill it. If you kill that, by the way, you can hit I. There's a lizard skin. You can equip it as armor. Armor is seen as that yellow bar. Camouflage is seen as red if you kill a deer and put on deer skin. Okay, so, this is our new home. Because it is only day one, what you're going to want to do is just a basic, basic little shelter. Or, well, not that, but a hunting shelter. If it's nighttime and you pick your new spot, do a temporary shelter. If you've still got time left in the day like I do, go ahead and get one of these shelters. Oof. Okay, so, uh, yeah, do that. Next is tree chopping. Uh, let's see. Let's pick up this. We're going to get an axe. So, in different parts of this map, there are spots that contain um, that contain a rope. Rope is not craftable or anything like that. There's several... Ooh, turtles. Kill any turtles you see, by the way. I know it's very sad to kill them, but you need their turtle shell. So kill any turtles if you see them, just because of their turtle shells. Hello, person revving their truck very loud. Alright, we had to do it. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah. There are different parts in this map that have... That do have rope. One of these parts is a cave up here. This cave does not have any enemies. So if you're... So we're going to make a stone axe. It's better than the axe I have now. So this cave right here, if we go in, nothing can harm us in this cave. That's why we're going in here. 
All the other caves usually will harm you, but this one, we are literally walking two feet. That's why I'm going to go in here. I want a stone axe. I'm going to show you all how to stone, craft a stone axe. That's very important to me. Ignore those hearts on the floor. They're perfectly normal. Yep, and right here, there's some rope. So, now I'm going to show you how to craft a stone axe. A stick, a stone, and a rope. Then you put right you click right click to put stuff on here and remove it. And then whenever you got all the stuff and you want to make the crafted axe, you hover over the little setting the um uh, gear here. And you right click to combine and boom, we have a stone axe. And by the way, L is light if you didn't figure that out from my screen. So now we're just gonna hit E on this rope, we're gonna climb back out. We have an axe, that's really good. That'll be helpful. We need that. So, let's climb back out. Ooh. It's a very tall climb. <laughs> Go ahead and turn off your light. The, um, uh, I don't believe the lighter has... You can run out of fuel with it. I don't know. If you get hungry, just go ahead and eat. It's fine. Oh, almost ran the wrong way there. So, yeah, the stone axe is better than the plain axe that you find. If you don't have rope, don't spend the entire first day or two looking for some. You'll run across it eventually. Like I said, that's one spot that'll have it. And, um, uh, so yeah, you can still use the plain axe. It's just a slight improvement. I just knew that we were near that area. And I'll, sh and just in case any others had, you know, found rope, I knew that it would be best to show you that now. So it'll help you out in the long run. So we require seven logs for this hunting cabin. So we're going to go ahead and just chop down this tree. Like It's very slow for me because I'm so used to the other axes in this game that don't take four years to chop down a tree. Well, we will. We'll get the other ones. You're going to run out of energy. Wait to get energy back. And then you can just judge based on the energy how long it's going to take to chop down the tree. So trees drop anywhere from four to five logs, depending on length. Thickness does not matter when choosing a tree. So it's whatever. So you can kick, pick up the logs like I just did with E. You can carry two at a time. You walk over, hit E on them. Boom, there you go. Go ahead and put the other stuff on there too. So we're going to need about two trees for this. Hey there, lizard. How's it going? What? This game's glitchy sometimes. Okay, so two more logs. And don't worry, this game isn't pick up two logs, carry them. There's more efficient ways to go logging in this game. But you will spend a lot of your time in this game logging, so get used to it. But don't worry, there's faster axes and there's ways to carry the logs a lot easier. So if you're concerned about, wow, this took a minute to chop down a tree and carry the logs. How long is it going to take to build a fortress? <laughs> there's There's quicker ways to do it. And we'll get into that eventually. Not this episode, though. Next episode, we will get into building. But this one, we're just... We're getting the basics down. we got plenty of time, too. Okay, so... Oh, crap. Where did the other logs go? There they are. I think that one only dropped three? I don't know. I think the other one glitched out or something. It's fine. Oh, we needed one more. Okay, well... Get this last log. We'll find that other one one other day. There's no reason to carry it over here now. We don't have a reason to use it. So, here's our hunting cabin. This game does not save automatically, so we will use it to save, and we'll use it to sleep. Alright, next up is you're going to want a fire pit for your, for your cabin. Because it will take a while to build a base in this game. So, you got to have a temporary home. You gotta have a fire to cook things and all that. So go ahead and just, we're gonna grab rocks. You can carry four, five rocks at a time. So grab five, go back, put them down, and go grab two more. And then after we build this fire, oh, by the way, you hit B to access the book there. So, sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. And you just grab two more. There's going to be one more thing that we're going to try and get in this episode. It's getting night. But the last thing that we're going to want is a 
is a water. Water. Food and water, there it is. We're going to want a water collector. We'll be building those other things eventually, but right now it's just... Oh, we need another stick. That's why we got the turtle shell, by the way, is for the water collector. It's also fine if you didn't get a turtle shell, but yeah, you're going to want to get one of those. So, because sodas don't last forever. We only got three more. That's why I'm going ahead and putting the water collector out. Uh, sticks, sticks, sticks. There we go. There's two on the ground. Sometimes we'll be on the ground. It's That's a good thing, I guess. So, now that we've done this, we can walk over here. We can place this last stick. And, yeah. Now, when it rains, it'll collect the rain. You'll be able to drink out of it about five times. Is this spoiled? Oh, it's fresh. Okay. So just hold down E to light this. I'm going to show you all how to put food on the fire. You can increase the fire by adding money and leaves to it. I had seven leaves and eight cash. You can equip this by pressing L. And then the fire will have C over it. If you put C, you will put the food on the fire. And then that will cook. Okay, so day one is setting. Day two will be starting tomorrow, and we'll be doing another episode. Every episode won't be done by days, but this episode, just because day one is just, you know, getting this simple stuff set up, uh, that's what I did. So, I um, uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe if you all did. Um, if you all need any help or suggestions, just go ahead and comment them, and I'll get back to you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Episode 2 will be coming shortly. I hope this helped you for day 1. Even though day 1 you really don't need that much help to survive. But it, it gets a little bit friskier later on. And yeah, of course to eat this, it's just E. You hold it down and you eat it. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this. Um, save it. You just you want to save. Pick a slot. I'll just pick slot 1. I'm not using that world anymore. And then you hold down to sleep. You'll sleep. And that'll be the end of the episode, and we'll get into the next day in the next episode. See you all later. Bye!